right guys, we are here at Rodeo X Rigs in Corona, California, just enjoying a beautiful day. I'm here with Jose though, and we want to talk about your truck, Jose. So give us the lowdown, what you've done, why you've built it the way you did, and why you have one of the coolest Tacomas I've seen. <laughs> well, uh, so I started the build originally in 2020. Uh, the focus for the build really was to start fishing and trying to get away from people and kind of go camping and exploring. So it's kind of the glory of here in California with all the BLM land, we're able to go out and enjoy the nature. So we built a truck basically to have a, a camp and a setup where we can go fishing, we can go hunting, whatever, and use this as the base. So I used CBI Off-Road and Prince 2 kind of as the hub for everything. Ordered every single part on the truck is from CBI Off-Road and Prince 2. Um, so I started actually off with the sliders and the skids because uh, I realized that I didn't want to get to a trail and not have the proper armor. So I started with slider skids and a full size spare. And then from there, the, the truck kind of took over. <laughs> so I went from slider skids, then I got into suspension, uh, wheels, tires, and just started building. So it's been approximately about four years and uh, the truck is pretty much capable for everything here local and uh, everything outside of that too. We've uh, been in five different states now, uh, about 50,000 miles all on trail or to the campsite. Wow. So that's pretty much how it is currently sits. That's impressive, man. That's a lot of miles on the trail that you guys have already put in on this truck. Yeah, so coincidentally enough, I got the truck, got promoted the same day. So the truck sits in a warehouse. So 50,000 miles for 2018, all camping. <laughs> yeah. So give us a quick run through then. You're running our, our CBI Baja front bumper. Yep. Looks like you got the aluminum version here. Yes, sir. So I got the aluminum version of the CBI Baja bumper, and I also have the CBI um, Overland skids. Aluminum as well. Yeah, underneath. aluminum as well. It's trying to save some weight so I can get save some uh, some on my pocketbook and get some extra yeah. mileage. Cool. So, Baja lighting I'm seeing all over yeah. the truck. The truck, everything on the truck, Baja designs. Um, I started off with uh, the Prince rack and the S8 40 inch. And then once I got this, I went for the, the Baja S8 as well. Okay, Warren winch with the Factor 55 stuff, it looks yep. like. I got a Warren winch, Factor 55, um, flat link. Um, that's pretty much it, I guess, for the recovery stuff. Okay, let's go to the side then. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your tire and wheel combo and your suspension? Yep, so I'm running um, Stealth Custom Series F5s and a negative 38 offset, wrapped in a Toyo Open Country Mud Terrain in a 315 70 by 17. Uh, suspension, I'm running 2.5 Kings with, um, with adjustable resis, front and rear, and Icon Vehicle Dynamics build upper control arms. And also I got Deaver Series 2 to compensate for some of the weight for the tent, so I got their, their uh, leaf pack in the rear. Yeah, this thing has such a nice stance. I mean, it just looks dang good. Thank you. I see you've had to do a little trimming and tubbing here to clear your tires. Yeah, so we started off with a little bit of trimming. I didn't want to trim up the fenders. I like the look of kind of a full wheel well. I agree. So I just did trimming. Uh, we put it on a flex ramp and four wheel parts, try to hit where everything was touching and trim from there. I do have the DRT cab mount relocation kit, which helps a lot. That's super nice. Yep. Super nice. Rock sliders, you've gone with a little bit different style than probably the majority of people on the overlanding side. So tell us why you like your CBI sliders and what they are. So these are the Trail Series uh, CBI sliders, bolt-on. First off, the bolt-on portion was a huge thing for me. Everything was easy to put on. I mean, it's literally plug and play. Um, I love the look of aesthetically of a tube style slider and I love the kick out. So, uh, I know that with the flats, a lot of people have them for dogs or whatever, maybe slipping. For me, I absolutely love it. I'm able to get up, open my awning, deploy my tent, whatever I need to do, the sliders provide enough surface for me to do that. Yeah, that's awesome. And they look so good, yeah. especially again with the stance of the truck and, and how it's set up. I mean, yeah. this thing is dialed. Yeah, it's, I love it. It fits the truck perfectly. Okay. Well, let's move on to the back really yeah. quick. And, and why don't you tell us a little bit of uh, what you got going on the back here? So in the back, I am running uh, CBI's mid um, Overland Series bed rack. Um, another true testament to CBI is everything, even the aftermarket support when it comes to the Max Trax mounts, the Roto Packs mounts, everything is plug and play. I've never had to drill any holes. Uh, I ordered all their um, their brackets straight from their website. Uh, so I have the Max Trax with CBI's Max Trax mounts. I got the Roto Packs directly mounted to their app. And then I got two Baja Designs S2 Sports that are I use as my chase lights and my camp lights. So once we get deployed, 
this is all my, my basically my cooking area. I use the S2s to kind of light up the, the cooking area. That's awesome. Well, this is such an awesome truck, and, and man, you have this thing cleaned up too, man. It's been a work. I uh, got one final piece. Once I get the rear on, I'm going to be ready for everything. That's awesome. So two questions for you really quick here just to end. What's your next trip, and what is the, the favorite mod so far with the truck? So my next trip, coincidentally enough, I will be visiting you guys in Idaho. Oh, so nice. I've been talking to Christian. We're going to make it out there. I'm going to get the rear put on at your guys' shop. And oh, Christian cool. and I were maybe get a little CBI camp session going on. Heck yeah, let's uh, do now, it. Favorite mod of the truck is definitely going to be the Baja Series bumper. The nice. clearance that I've gotten from that is, is phenomenal. Um, now I have a, a winch. It's, it's, it's nice to have that lifeline. So that's yeah. been a huge thing for me is getting the winch put on and being able to have that opportunity. If I need to, I can winch out. I agree. I thought of one last question that I'm sure people want to know. Where's your favorite off-road trail? My favorite off-road trail, surprisingly, is in Utah. I spent a lot of time in the St. George area. Oh, it's yeah. My favorite, probably my favorite part in the United States. I get the opportunity, I'm heading there. And I love doing the Torquerville Fall Trail. That's probably oh, my Oh, that's a classic. Favorite. That yeah. trail is so awesome. Yep. I, I would highly recommend that as well to everybody else. Tokerville Falls, I yeah. mean, it's just a classic. It's a good trail. You can do, do you do the full loop or yeah. the out and back? Do the full loop. Yeah, so you get a little fun off-roading yep. coming out. And, exactly. Oh, that's you awesome. You camp right there on the river. It's, oh, it's yeah. amazing. That's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, man. Well, incredible build. Thanks for telling us all about it and what you've done to your Tacoma. Be sure and follow along, like and subscribe. Let us know here so Jose can answer what you want to know more about his truck and he'll fill it in. But uh, follow along, we'll have more adventures coming. See you later. Thanks, guys.